for a ride on the Mineral Belt Trail here in Leadville, Colorado. Elevation 10,200 and it's a little 12 mile loop that goes way around town up to the mining district, uh, up to the summit and back down. So it's a beautiful day here in Leadville. Everything is green. All the flowers are blooming. We've had plenty of rain. So it's another perfect day here in Leadville, Colorado. There are two mountains in front of me. On the left is Mount Elbert, which is the highest mountain in Colorado, 14,433 feet. And the other mountain is Mount Massive, and it is named appropriately because it is big. And it's either the second or third highest. I'm not sure which one, but uh, it's, they're both beautiful. This section right here is called Poverty Flats. Boy, people chased dreams. People made fortunes. People lost their lives. You can see right in front that some tailings from mining. They're all over here. I mean, they were just digging up everything, looking for their dreams. So along the trail, they have a lot of mining history, the placards, some of the equipment. Down there is Turquoise Lake, beautiful national forest campgrounds down there now, but I believe at one time they actually mined turquoise. at the summit of the Mineral Belt Trail. It's 10,686 feet. And across for me is an old part of an abandoned mine. You can see the timber's still there. And there's some rags to riches stories and there's some sad stories here. Here's the Mineral Belt Trail. You can see all the old abandoned mines. This is California Gulch, and this is the road that we took up the other day to go to Mount Sherman. Um, you see all the old structures, and I, it must have been Wild West back then. Giving you a different perspective. Here's the trail that I just came down. And then the trail continues here, and at this point, it is just down, down, down. Here it's California Gulch today, and this is what it looked like in 1882. Very different. Boy, there aren't as many trees. I guess they were cutting all the trees down to make all the supports, but the trees are coming back. You've heard of the Guggenheims. May Department Store, The Unsinkable Molly Brown, they all have history here. Like somebody else was on the mineral belt too, and I'm hoping I don't run into them. It's a bear. It's flat here, so I can 
show you what the lower part of the trail is like. More pines, less aspen. And for those who want more adventure, there are mountain biking trails that cross all over back here. But I prefer the pavement. So here's one of the trails right here. I'm also very close to where we play disc golf. Uh, the course crosses over the mineral belt a time or two, I believe. And you can see how pretty it is with all the pines, wildflowers, and beautiful blue skies.